Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Can I set up recurring child support payments in Ohio? In Ohio, setting up recurring child support payments is indeed a convenient and manageable option. Here's how you can do it. Online payments through checking account debit. You can make recurring payments directly from your checking or savings account through the Ohio Child Support Payment Central CSPC website. There is no charge for making these online payments. To schedule recurring payments, you need to register your account and allow sufficient time for your bank account information to be verified. Your first payment date must be at least five business days from the date you register your account. If your account has been previously verified, the payment must be scheduled at least three business days prior to its payment date. Credit debit card payments. You can also set up recurring payments using your credit or debit card. Accepted credit cards include Discover, MasterCard, Visa, American Express, China Union Pay, Diners Club International, and JCB. Additionally, you can use e-wallet accounts like Apple Pay, Google Pay, PayPal, or Venmo. Recurring payment options. You have the flexibility to schedule payments weekly, bi-weekly, semi-monthly, or monthly, ensuring that you never miss a payment. Payments made via the CSPC website have clear cutoff times. Payments made by 4.59.59 p.m. EST will be received one business day later, while payments made at 5 p.m. EST or later will be received two business days later. Using the mobile application. For added convenience, you can use the Ohio Child Support mobile application to manage and schedule your payments. This app allows you to view case information, make payments, and even send messages to your caseworker. Additional information. To ensure that your payments are processed correctly, make sure to include all necessary information with your payment if you choose to mail it, such as your name, social security number, optional, sets case number, and court order number. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below and feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.